Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning December 16th, 2019. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Please make sure everybody that you are subscribed and that you hit that notification bell that helps out a ton. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do like we, what we've been doing for the past couple of weeks where I'm just gonna get a message through here for you guys. It's called mediumship, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I will do a full body channel. Um, other times I will do auto writing, but I just feel like this is a nice way to get the messages. And then we will move on to the cards. So I'm just gonna be quiet here and let's see what is coming up for this week. I immediately heard justice is served. <laughs> But it's not the way that you think. Again, you know, the messages that they're bringing through, they're wanting us to expand and grow and um, come into, come out of the unnecessary struggle, I think is how I want to put it. We constantly torture ourselves about having enough money, being with the right person, looking a certain way, you know, being perceived a certain way by our friends. And they're, they're wanting us to not put so much value on that because I can tell you the feeling I'm getting is that all that and that way of life is going away very, very quickly. Okay, so I don't think it doesn't have to be catastrophic. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? They've given us that heads up plenty of times, right? So this shouldn't come as a shock to anyone. Yes. Loving kindness. Now, this is interesting because uh, I first saw somebody who, in my mind, who is being very cruel to someone else. It looks like somebody who is smaller than they are. So maybe it's a parent child, it could be a teacher and a student, um, or just an adult, you know, thinking that kids are terrible and you shouldn't be around, <laughs> like whatever. Um, and that person suddenly having sort of the light turned on for them and seeing the beauty in this other person. There's been a whole, a whole lot about that, um, seeing the beauty in another. Now, I am getting the message here, and you can say whatever you want about it, but humanity is in trouble, okay? We are in trouble here. We do not value one another. We've been talking about this for a couple of weeks now. We do not value life. Uh, I gave uh, now two weeks in a row. Now here's the third, uh, Greg Braden and Missing Links. Uh, he talks about this. Uh, and, and it's just time to start lightening up a little bit and enjoy each other's company and enjoying each other's presence. Now, they're showing me again that there's going to be this continuation of people. Wait, I, I felt it. So let me see if I can put this into, can you guys come back with that? Seeing the light. People, a lot of people just suddenly seeing the light and realizing, okay, I don't need to take my fears and put them on someone else. I don't need to take my fear of inadequacy and make sure someone else is suffering with me. I've given this warning many, many times. I'll give it yet again. Be careful of people who claim to be spiritual or claim to be righteous, who want to judge someone because of how they live their lives. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're evil, but there's a definite, uh, they're definitely incapacitated in some way. And I don't know what's gonna happen with those people. I know that sounds so like doomsday-ish. That's not what I'm getting at here, but like, <laughs> but like what I'm getting at here is like, there's this weird thing where some people see the light and they see that there's, the beauty's been there all along. The peace has been there all along. The love has been there all along. I, I've given this example before too. I think it is pertinent here. So I'm going to include it. So many times people will come to me for a personal reading and they'll say, I've been single for so long. Me too. Uh, and you know, what's, what's going on here? Not every single person, but a lot of people you'll tune into their energy and you can feel they want their freedom. <laughs> they want their freedom and they don't want to have to deal with in-laws. They don't want to have to, you know, uh, you know, go along to get along and not state their opinion on something. You know, they want to be able to come and go as they please. But societally speaking, there's a lot of pressure to be with someone. Um, it's a very partner-based kind of world, 
right? Try to go to a restaurant by yourself and not have the bartender, you know, feel bad for you and act like they have to like talk to you the entire time, <laughs> right? Or somebody, you know, staring at you, like, why are you by yourself, right? So, you know, those, that can start to make you feel like you have to make that happen for yourself. When in all actuality, maybe it's a part of your soul's path to learn independence, okay? To learn to stand on your own two feet. So we are going to, the energy of this week, the potential is there for us to really start honoring our truest path. Now, what a lot of people will immediately do, check the comments, <laughs> that's a great study on human behavior, right? They immediately go, yeah, but I don't know what my path is. I mean, I thought I was supposed to be a doctor, but now I don't think so. Or I always thought I was supposed to be a lawyer, I just realized my light isn't turned. I'm professional. <laughs> oh my God, that's so bad. Anyway, um, <laughs> well, I had to have a little walkway, so I moved my lamp and then I didn't move it back. That's it, that's the whole story. So maybe you have somebody who says, well, I thought I was supposed to be a, a doctor, but now I don't wanna do that. I thought I was supposed to be a lawyer, but now I don't wanna do that. And they really start thinking in terms of career. Why is that? Well, in our, in a lot of societies, we really honor what you do to make your money. Right? That defines you as a person. That defines your, you know, your talents, your skills. It's, it's your trade. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we forget that sometimes you have to realize you're already living your path. Okay. Now there are ways that you can be, you know, more aware of that so that you can not suffer. Right. So here, here's what I'm getting at here. And this is probably a big lesson and a realization that a lot of you will have this week. Um, that you'll wake up to the realization of, oh, I've always been on my path. All right, so if I understand that my path is to be single or my path is to be um, in some way or another serving others, but how I actually do that, that's where the free will comes in. Okay, now I can be at ease. This is why people get personal readings, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? So it just kind of helps them feel better about the path that they're taking. Okay, so I don't want everybody jumping into the third dimensional ego consciousness. Someone asked me what the heck that was, a third dimensional ego consciousness. We are in 3D, okay? It's basically your intellect. It's the human brain. It's the way humans function. It's what we value, right? And, and the, the lens that we see everything through, yes? And the density consciousness just means density. We're in dense bodies. We're not uh, without a form, all right? Like, so fourth dimensional people, are they entities? I don't know what we call them. <laughs> beings, fourth dimensional beings. Um, you know, they don't need a body. So the, the third dimension is the dimension that humans are in, that we are in. Um, ego consciousness or density consciousness just talks about what the human brain is equipped with to, in a, I guess, an attempt to keep us safe here on this planet. Okay. But it is that lens that can really muddle up a message. It's, it's how we interpret things, okay? So that ego consciousness, really when we stuff everything up into the intellect and we're not in the heart space, if we don't have the head and the heart online with one another, you're not feeling anything, right? You're just analyzing. <laughs> and it, you're only making your choices, your free will decisions from an intellectual space. We honor people who do this, okay? I used to work in a corporation where if you went to a certain school, then you were considered above everyone else. And so you would have a lot of people, it's, it was kind of, I shouldn't say sad, because they don't, maybe they don't see their lives as sad. But I saw a lot of people who probably from a very young age were trained to not be emotional, don't feel anything, you know, that makes you weak, you know, whatever. And they were completely disconnected from their hearts and they were stuffed up in their brain. <laughs> and that's how they functioned. And if you said anything to them that would have to do with empathy, you could see them get a little scrambled for a second. It's almost as if beautiful human beings were, were turning into the robots, okay? So the thing that keeps you separate from robotics right, is your heart, right? So that's the gateway to the soul, I think. Um, and, and you need to access that. So this is that kind of thing this week where you're having those epiphanies, you're understanding that, you're allowing yourself to get into that flow and not struggling so much, not over planning your path. Make sense? Okay, so let's get some cards going and let's see what else we have going on for this week. Oh, 
there's a card coming right out into my hand. Oh, we had this a couple of weeks ago. So this is Libyan Gold Tectite Manifestation. Yes, yes, there we go. <laughs> so again, you're learning how to create what it is that you want to bring into your existence, but you're also, this is, it still feels like it's human beings taking accountability for what we've created. You know, we live the lives that we do because those are the standards we've set. And because we don't question things, we just pass this along to our children. Okay. You're supposed to hate like this. You're supposed to work super hard. You're supposed to report to somebody who's always going to be better than you. You're supposed to work towards their success right? You're not supposed to branch out on your own. I mean, I live as a freelancer, basically a sole proprietor, and I wasn't allowed to buy a house because <laughs> all I had was 1099 income and not W2 income, right? So, I mean, it, it, the whole culture really, and what we bring into this world and how we're living life and experiencing life has to do with the society that we've set up this is a time where we realize we want something else. We want to manifest something different. All right. We don't want to, um, you know, somebody else's way of life say that that's not valid and you're not allowed to do that or that's not the way things go. Again, going back to that house example, when I was sitting with the mortgage guy, first thing he asked was, what about your husband's income? Wow. There's a lot of assumptions in that one statement. A lot. And I just looked at him, I'm like, I'm single. <laughs> it's just me, okay? So there's not a two income situation going on here. And then he said, well, you don't have any W-2 income? I mean, you don't, you don't work for something? Like he was so baffled that I worked for me. And then, and then because he's programmed, right? We're all programmed. He, he said, well, that's considered not very steady income. You know, you could have a month where you don't make anything. And I was like, that's true. That's very true. That's kind of the reality of a freelancer. Your, your income's up and down. There's no stability. But you could walk in tomorrow and your boss could just decide he doesn't want you working here anymore and you could lose your job and not have an income. Me, if I'm not making it, I get out and do something else, right? I'm accountable for me. So even down to that, in case you guys ever wondered why I'm living in an apartment and not a house, there you go. You know, that's, that's part of it. But this is one example of how we get so conditioned and we hang on to what we know. This has been a big message and it's going to continue to be a trend. We don't want to hang on to what we think we know because there's so many more beautiful things to discover. It's very promising. All right. And as I've said uh, in the 2020 uh, video that I did, it's on my channel, um, you know, it's not going to come without some hurt, pain, chaos, you know, things are going to rumble. They're going to get shaken up a little bit and, you know, it's just breaking things open so that something new can come about. If that terrifies you, why, why aren't you confident in yourself as a human being, <laughs> right? As a human being, you know, I feel the dark times too. You know, it feels like there's like this gray cloud that sort of comes over life sometimes, especially when something happens out in the world, when someone expresses their pain and they harm others. God forbid. God forbid. I get that. I get that. But if we choose it, if we manifest something different, remember, if we manifest something different, we know we don't have to normalize devaluing life. We don't have to normalize being abusive and controlling of other people. Okay. The next card we have hiddenite gratitude. So interesting. We suddenly probably, I think <laughs> passive, super passive. <laughs> we are going to be very grateful that we have this ability. We're going to discover things about what we can do and how we can change what is now. Think of this as birthing pains. Um, I don't know that this whole thing is happening this week, but there could be some things that are really, really difficult to let go of. Uh, some things that are really difficult to change people's minds about. And that, that gets tricky. 
that gets tricky. You got people who are coming out and giving their hate because they don't like that someone went and said something because they're like, well, that's not what we stand for. And that's not how we approach things. And because you went against the grain, rah, 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 you know, this whole thing. <sighs> hate is hate. What are you putting out to the world? That's part of what we're learning not to do. Okay. But there's a lot of gratitude suddenly for what you have. Okay, one second. Um, uh, okay, so there could be, for example, things happening in this week where things are getting taken away from people, okay? And if you experience something where something got taken away from you, it doesn't mean you're going to get fired. It doesn't, you know, have to mean anything super horrible. It just means maybe a friendship ends and you kind of knew it needed to, but when it does, there, there could be like that surface level, again, that ego consciousness, uh, reaction to hang on to it. Right. But it's going away anyway. <laughs> right? Really start embracing when things don't go your way. There's a reason. There's a reason. Do not fight it. Do not fight it. If you are trying to make, um, let's say you're going on a job interview and you really, really, really want this job and you don't get it. Okay. Uh, if you don't get the job, there was probably some big reason why you were going to hate that place. All right. Or they were going to work you for two jobs and pay you for one. Right. So this is that week. Let go. Let go of what you think, you know, we've been saying that it's a whole thing. Um, but you're going to start to be very, very grateful that maybe you didn't have something happen that you thought would. Yes. For some of you, it's, uh, getting into a school for next year, like college, and you really thought you wanted to live somewhere and then you don't get in and you're going to be upset at first. Okay. You're going to be very upset, but realize, come back to this video and watch it again. You didn't want it. Okay. You wouldn't have wanted how it was going to go. All right. You were being protected. All right, so then we have this lovely card, Cooperite, Rites of Passage. That is what is happening right now. We are all going through our rites of passage. And again, I think I've said, you know, we as humans, we're kind of designed to be self-centered <laughs> for self-protection. But this rite of passage is all of us. It's us as individuals, sure, but it's us as a collective going through our rite of passage. So coming through the lessons, um, trying to make it to the other side, but enjoy the journey. So I feel like there's like coming of age, <laughs> like humanity is sort of coming of age. And, uh, you know, we want to be anybody who comes to you and says, I'm an incarnated this and when they're bragging about it, anybody who, who is here, uh, on, if you want to see it, like, it sounds so like, I'll reserve judgment, but anybody who is here to do some bit, a bit of big mission, they might talk about it, but they're not going to brag. Okay. They're not going to shove it in your face. They're not going to lead with that. As a matter of fact, they're going to try to, well, it's going to be a little more comfortable for them to come out now because we're, that's where we're heading and it's time for them to emerge. But, um, is this disclosure? Heck, I don't know, but, <laughs> but you know, they're not going to come out and lead with that. Watch people and their egos. I cannot tell you guys how many times someone comes to me and they say, Michelle, I need your help. This psychic told me, not that psychics are all bad, okay? Some are really using their gifts for good. Um, but the psychic told me that I'm a star seed and that I have to da 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 Because one person told them something, they took it as a fact, and now they're defining themselves under those terms. No one should ever have that amount of power over you. As a matter of fact, when someone is, um, you know, sitting there, let's say you're, you're with a spiritual practitioner and they're reflecting something back. Remember, all information, including through me, has to go through my third dimensional ego consciousness. I'm doing my best, right? But you always have to feel, you know, feel it out. If something um, rattles you, ask yourself why. Now, the ego will tell you because it's not true. And if you're with somebody who doesn't have uh, the most integrity and in giving you a reading, that might be the case. All right. But if you're with somebody and it feels like it rattles you and it's because there's some truth to it, that was a gift. All right. Embrace it. But it doesn't have to be this kind of thing where you live by what somebody else defines you as. Does that make sense? Okay. So let's 
get on to the next card. I want to pull from here, I feel. <laughs> it's Opal Joy again. This is what we're working towards. It might feel like things are not good. It's going to feel like things are catastrophic. Uh, it's because we're dramatic. <laughs> we're really dramatic as humans. We cause our own problems and then we can't believe it, right? <laughs> Why can't you believe it? You were going down this path the whole time. Uh, but the Opal Joy card says, hey, we can start to give our hearts a break here and settle down a little bit and not keep pushing. We've made it in, in a way, okay? So it's really... Um, I don't know. I don't want to be dramatic either and <laughs> say it's like resetting or re being reborn or whatever. It does feel like it's um, a gentle realization as you go. Like things start to open up and make sense little by little. Okay. All right. So let's get the color card. All right. The color card for this week is... I want to guess that it's watermelon. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I was wrong, okay? Keep it between me and you, right? So it's peach. Inhale a breath of life. The number is 19. Now this is, and it reduces to 10, which is one. So the individual, yes, honoring the individual, but the individual as a part of a whole or something like that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> inhale a breath of life. This is saying it's okay to enjoy being human. It's okay to, oh, hi, you want to focus there? Excuse me. <laughs> there we go. You don't have to take everything so seriously, um, being lighthearted. Uh, enjoy your life. Enjoy being human. Don't tell, don't let people tell you that you're not allowed, that you have to restrict yourself. As long as you're not hurting anybody, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to live by other people's rules. And it's time we get that joy card and then it's saying inhale a breath of life you know reconnect to source that is your source of joy yes god source creator all right so we're going to leave it there guys i'm sending you so much love and take care